So this time we're finding unknown coefficients. Uh, this time it's a complex coefficient. So you can see i at the front here. And there's some i's in our coefficients all the way along. Uh, polynomials. All right, so let's take a look. Find the values of a and b. Remember that a and b are real numbers. If z minus 2 is a factor, now remember if z minus 2 is a factor, that means that 2 is going to be a 0. Um, where pz equals iz cubed plus a1 minus i, blah, 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 blah. Let's see how to go here. Uh, now, if we've got z minus 2 as a factor, then pz is going to be equal to 0 when z, when z is equal to 2. So let's try that out first. All right, so I've got my twos in there. Let's just fix them up a little bit. Expanding this gives us 8i. Then it's 4 times a times 1, so 4a. 4 times a times negative i. Uh, expanding this. Now, this is all expanded. Now, remember that it's going to be equal to 0 because we've subbed in our 2 here, and that was a 0. Uh, now, you can see that it's made of uh, imaginary components, imaginary components, and it's made of um, real components. So let's just group them up and see what we end up with here. Um, so real components first. I can just make this a little bit simpler. 8i, negative 2i, that's going to be... Uh, 6i. All right, so now we've got real components, imaginary components, and the whole thing's going to be equal to zero. Now, if the whole thing's going to be equal to zero, that means that the real component is equal to zero, and that means that the imaginary component is going to be equal to zero. So I'm just going to maybe factorize this a little bit. So that's going to be uh, 4 a minus 2, and I'm going to factorize this by making i the common factor here. So that means that 4a minus 2 must be equal to 0, and this must also be equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, 0 equals 4 bracket a minus 2. Now you can solve this however you want but a is going to be equal to 2 when you solve that. And now that we know that a is equal to 2, and we should also be able to say, therefore, 0 is equal to 6 minus 4a, which is 4 times 2, plus b. And we can solve that for b now. And when you rearrange and solve that for b, b is going to be equal to 2. All right, so uh, just stepping back a little bit, we had a polynomial uh, with coefficients that were complex. Now, we knew that z minus 2 was a factor, so we could put 2 in, and we would know that the whole thing would be equal to 0. Now, the equation itself is made up of real and complex terms. Now, if the whole equation is equal to 0, then the real component must be equal to 0 and the i component must be equal to 0, and the only way for that to be equal to 0 would be for this bit to be equal to 0. All right, um, that's that.